Hey guys, welcome back to another Star Stable video. So, a couple weeks ago, I think, I think it's only been a week actually, about a week ago, I made a video about secret non-star rider areas. So I figured I would do like kind of like a part two to that, but we're gonna be doing like stuff that non-star riders can't really reach, so. Uh, it's just gonna be like overall stuff, I guess. I, I really don't know how to describe it. We're just gonna do secret areas in Star Stable. That's what we're doing. Some of these, you have probably heard about them before. Like if you've searched up this video before or this type of video before, you've probably heard some of them. As the video goes on, we're actually going to like get progressively more crazy. Um, like, I can guarantee you by the end of this video, you're gonna be like, oh, wow, I really haven't heard of that place. I really haven't been to that place. So, let's just get started. Alright, so we're actually gonna go to the crashed UFO. And all you gotta do is come up here, and I'm pretty sure this is probably the most well-known secret spot. Uh, because this is, like, where everybody goes for these videos. I've read up some lore, and I'm, I, I do believe that this is Garnox UFO. Alright, well, this is the UFO crash site. Um, this is probably the most well-known secret area or secret spot. Uh, so we're not gonna spend too much time here, but it's some pretty interesting stuff. Also, you guys, I know I said I wasn't going to get an Artemis. Um, but apparently I lied. I, I ended up getting one, um, a couple days ago, actually, so. I actually really like this horse. I'm actually surprised I liked it so much. I was worried that I was going to buy it, I was gonna ride it for, like, five minutes, and then put it back in my home stable, because I, I it turned out I didn't like it, but. Alrighty, so the next place we're going to is the Keel, I'm pretty sure is how you pronounce it. It's in Dundle. Uh, you could take the trailer from Burke's Grange or Dundle or Starshine Ranch or wherever you really want to go. And you're just going to want to come up on this little ledge and be careful and don't fall because, believe me, I have done it multiple times. Uh, not in this video, actually. I did it pretty seamlessly this time, but um, just be careful. Oh, no. I, I, I always forget that you actually have to jump this. Ugh. Okay. Okay. I, I promise I'm a professional, you guys. Alright, we're here. And I'm pretty sure there's actually a star back here. Obviously, I've already gotten it. But this is... I'm not sure what this is called. I'm pretty sure this is the keel. No, it's unmarked. It's just Mistfall. That's fine. Alrighty, so you're gonna want to come over here to Mrs. Pike. Uh, she lives right at the edge of Greendale Forest. Um, right in the fork in the road here. Um, so you're gonna want to come behind this white picket fence and then all you want to do is just drop down right here and look it's so cute i don't know i'm honestly not sure what like what this is from i cannot remember if it's like from a quest or like an event or what but but yeah this is the unsuccessful gift so for this next secret spot we're going to actually be getting into this ged workspace um obviously you can't just walk in he puts his hand up in front of us and obviously we can't go in um so we're actually going to find another way in Oh, yeah, and I forgot there's a cave down here. I'm pretty sure there is a star in there. I'm not 100% sure. So, yeah, that's all you really have to do to get over here. Um, By the way, guys, I am so sorry for the random audio quality differences. Um, I don't really like how I did some of the voiceover for some of these segments. So, I just decided to redo them as I was editing. Uh... 
so I apologize, but yeah, this is how you get over to uh, Bear Point, this is called. Alrighty, so the next location we're going to be looking for is the Hidden Dinosaur Nest. Um, so I've actually never gotten this before. This is going to be a first time for me. Um, so we're actually going to hopefully do this together. Uh, as you can see, I have never gotten it before. So let's, let's, let's try it. I actually switched to a smaller horse because, um, I don't know. I have a feeling that the big Artemis isn't going to be able to do this, but we'll see. Alrighty, we're here. So, essentially what we want to do is we want to jump behind this tree and then back up when we get back there. I have no idea how that works, but we're going to we're going to try it. Oh, look at that. We got it, you guys. I don't know how that works, but we got it. Alrighty, guys. So, the next place we're going to is the Mountains of Yore. Um, and I'll be honest with you, I did record this separately uh, a couple days ago because it's just such a task to get up here. So I just kind of did it casually um, and just recorded it while I was doing it casually. So just follow what I'm doing uh, in the video. Uh, do be careful though when you are running around back here because it is just so easy to fall into pits and holes and what have you because i'm not 100 percent sure if we're supposed to be back here and if we are like well they didn't really make it accessible for anybody um so if you do fall into a hole there's a high chance that you're not actually going to be able to get out so just be careful back here Alrighty, so this next segment, we're actually going to the edge of the map. Again, this has been recorded separately when I was doing it casually. Um, I probably should have said this in the last segment, but just a little disclaimer. You actually don't have to do any like crazy glitches to get back here. You can literally just climb mountains and get up here. Uh, but do be careful again, uh, just because there's a really high chance to fall into a pit and not be able to get out. Uh, so just really follow my lead in the video, um, and you'll be fine, uh, for the most part. Um, hopefully you don't slip and fall or something, but, um, if you just follow my lead, you should be fine. Uh, and then you could just, you can literally go and see the edge of the map. How fun is that? It's actually super fun, and it's kind of interesting to see, like, the vast ocean, I guess. Uh, not too many people can come back and see this. Oh, and then also you get a pretty cool view of Dundle too. Um, you can see all of Dundle from up here, uh, which is pretty cool. Um, so yeah. Alrighty guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video or even found it helpful, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe so more people can find and enjoy the video too. See you in the next one. Bye!